you this afternoon as we share with Brianna, with Alex, with family and friends this beautiful occasion filled with a lot of joy. Um, I will say there have been a lot of phone calls, there have been a lot of emails, there has been a lot of planning, there has been a lot of thinking. Now all of that, all of that gets left behind and now we're here to celebrate what we're here to celebrate, the two of you your love, your relationship, and your journey to arrive at this moment. This moment is about joy. I can promise you with the logistics, not with me, but with other people, there'll be challenges and problems and things that happen. None of it matters. What matters is the two of you will be joining your lives before your family and friends, and it's a moment of pure celebration. We begin um, a Jewish wedding, as many of you know, by signing the ketubah, uh, the marriage contract. This particular ketubah is quite special. Very often we would just go online and, and order one, um, but Juliana, your sister has created this beautiful work of art that will hang in your home. Um, and I, I think the reflection that a ketubah is not just a piece of paper, but a ketubah is a symbol of your love and relationship and that it was created with love by your sister. Um, even as I took it out of the frame, I can see your pride uh, in making this and I can see your joy in having this beautiful gift. And so my prayer is that as you continue to look at this beautiful ketubah, may it remind you of the love that surrounds you on this day. As we begin, I'm going to ask you uh, to sign the ketubah. Yeah, yeah, as opposed to win. <laughs> right, yes. Okay. 
your signatures, but the signature of your witnesses, Zach and Josh, and I'll ask you to just come over one at a time, please. And if you'd sign the top line. But even more, even more importantly, this beautiful ketubah, in a few days, I hope, and we have the frame here, may it be hanging on your walls. When it hangs on your walls, I want you as you walk by it to think about when you first met, those first clicks. I want you to think about one of the trips that you have taken together. I want you to think about a time that was challenging where you held each other. I want you to think about a time where you pushed each other to be better. I want you to think about how you felt on Friday before your family and friends and everyone sort of arrived into town. And I want you to think about how you're going to feel tomorrow. A reminder of the people that stand on this day and will stand with you in just a few moments under the fupa that love you, that care about you, and are there to support you. While you are formally entering into marriage, you are not alone on this journey. You are surrounded by love. And in that spirit, we say the traditional words, Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. Simen Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simen Tov, Simen Tov, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov, Simen Tov, Yehelanu. Yeh la nu yeh la nu o le kho israel yeh la nu yeh la nu o le kho israel a story where uh, one of the patriarchs was tricked into marrying the wrong bride sort of a difficult strange story to share in many ways but what i like to teach is that it is a reminder of the separation between who you are at this moment and who you will become. As you lower that veil in just a moment, and when you pick up that veil, and I'll tell you when under the chuppah, your lives were, will forever be changed. And so in that spirit, I'm going to have your parents take just a moment. Uh, they can offer a blessing, a word, or a prayer, just a wish in your ear, and then you can flip over the Again, Mazel Tov. Just a couple of um, announcements while I have everyone's attention. First, if you are one of the people that are chanting the seven wedding blessings, I'm going to be chanting, uh, excuse me, you'll be reading the English, don't worry. I'll be chanting the Hebrew, and then you're going to be chanting, reading the English. Sorry, woo, long. I chant the Hebrew, you read the English, we go in order of the seven. If you want to know who goes before you, I do have the list, I'm happy to do that, um, and I can just answer that. Maybe I'll do that in just a moment. Also, um, Alex and Brianna, part of the ceremony is they will return to this room following uh, the chuppah. They get to spend a few minutes of private, alone time together.
Ruchim Habayim B'Shem Adonai. Blessed are you who have come here on this day in the name of God before family and friends. Brianna and Alex, you can, you can hold hands. <laughs> you can share the joy of this moment and this beautiful place with those who have gathered from near and far to share in your joy the simcha of this moment. As we begin, we honor and thank those who have traveled to be here. We stand underneath this chuppah, the wedding canopy that is a symbol of the home that you have started to build together. Its fragility represents that need for love and care that you clearly show for one another already. Its openness on all sides is the reminder to welcome in your family and friends as you both do, to bring them into your lives. In your journey, that's who you've been, surrounded by family and friends. As we begin in joy, we also take a moment to remember those who are no longer with us. May their memories always be a blessing as we honor and remember Jerry and Frida Fierstein, Philip and Rose Marmelstein, Victor Richman, and of course, with tenderness on this day, we have a yard site, a memorial candle burning in honor of your mom, Randy. May her memory be a blessing. And I know because she told me how much she was shining down upon you on this day, how happy she was that you had truly found the love of your life. She knew and she knows. And we pray that her memory will always guide you and be a blessing. And together we say, Amen. As we begin our ceremony, we do so with the Shechianu, our prayer of gratitude. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shechianu v'kiemanu v'higianu lazman hazeh Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who has brought us to this joyous and wonderful time. And together we join in saying, Amen. We'll share from the first Kiddush cup as I share this blessing. My prayer for you is, if there is sweetness in this wine, in this Kiddush cup, may it be sweeter because you share it together. If there is bitterness, may it be less bitter because you share it together. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Borei peri hagafen Bri, you can drink first. Forever. <laughs> and then Alice, you can take a sip. Brianna and Alex, many years ago, there was a great spiritual teacher, the Baal Shem Tov. He taught that from every person there arises this great light that goes all the way to heaven. But he said when two lights find one another, their light shines even brighter. For me, for anyone who has spent time in your presence, we see you shining bright in each other's eyes, the sense of joy and sense of love. Alex, I am so honored to be standing with you underneath this chuppah. I think back many years ago when you were my student in confirmation. Precocious, pushing, asking, joking. He has changed so much over the years. I was elated when you called and asked me to be part of this special day and sort of wondered who would be your match? Who could handle this incredible sweetness and precociousness? And then, I met Brianna. <laughs> a beautiful bride and human being who brings a sense of joy and love and light to the world. It has been an honor to come to know you, to get to know your family, and to see you as a unit, holding each other with strength and beauty. Both of you, warm and kind, authentic and real. When I see the two of you together, I see balance and I see love. From your first meeting in 2019 until today, if you think back 
You've built a beautiful life together already. From your first meeting, you quickly started to share life. From sporting events, lots of sporting events, concerts, importantly, meeting family and friends here in Philadelphia and Long Island and in between, traveling to Asheville, Penn State, and more. Think about that intense time that you spent together during COVID in isolation, building your life together. Those times you shared holidays and special moments alone. You shared so many meals over these years. You've learned about and become part of birthday month. You have shown a great sense of joy and love that speaks to who you are as human beings. You have found joy in one another's arms. But perhaps more importantly, you have found strength. During job searches and times of struggle, you've pushed each other to achieve and to do better with your lives. Of course, with the loss of your mom, with health challenges, these things have made you stronger. And a stronger unit who has cared for one another and been there in every sense of that word to honor each other. And yet, you can just be fun and you can be, as you like to say, goofy together. It's exactly the love and light that the Baal Shem Tov spoke of. And you are beaming at this moment because you know this is the right light to stand in. And so in keeping with that spirit, my prayer for you is that you continue to bring one another happiness and strength during days of challenge, that you remember to laugh and enjoy life in one another's arms. And may the light and love that fills this moment always fill your home. And together we say, Amen. In keeping with these words, your relationship, and the years that you have already shared, I'm going to ask you in the presence of God before this assembly of family and friends, do Alex take Brianna to be your wife, to love, and to honor, and to cherish? I do. And do you, Brianna, take Alex to be your husband, to love, and to honor, and to cherish? I do. In keeping with these vows, I'm going to now share the rings that will formally unite your lives. If I could please have those rings. Good job. And just hold it there for a moment. And Alex, I'm going to have you repeat these sacred words from our tradition that will formally unite your lives. Hooray. Hooray. At. At. Mikudeshet. Mikudeshet. Li. Li. Vitabaat. Vitabaat. Zo. Zo. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. The Yisrael. The Yisrael. Be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me. With this ring. With this ring. As my wife. As my wife, in keeping with the heritage, in keeping with the heritage of Moses and Israel, of Moses and Israel, and you can push it on. Hmm. Yeah, you can switch it over. It doesn't matter. <laughs> As you, Brianna, place this ring upon the finger of your groom, I'm going to ask you to repeat those same sacred words from our tradition. Hooray. Hooray. Ata. Ata. Mikudash. Mikudash. Li. Li. Bitabaat. Bitabaat. Zo. Zo. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. The Yisrael. The Yisrael. Be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me. With this ring. With this ring. As keeping with my husband. As keeping with my husband. With the heritage. With the heritage. Of Moses. Of Moses. And Israel. And Israel. You push it on, please. According to the customs of our people and the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, you are now husband and wife in the sight of all. But before we celebrate, of course, in our tradition, we share with you the second glass of wine. Hold that. Don't drink yet. Baruch atah Mo Yisrael al yadeh We praise you, our God, who hallows our people Israel, through the sacred rite underneath this chuppah. In that spirit, we share the Sheva Brachot, the seven wedding blessings, that speak of our hopes and dreams for your future. Each of these blessings will be recited in Hebrew, 
and then a, a translation will be shared by one of your family members. Baha Rucha Tadonai Eloheinu Melech Olaham Bore Puri Hagafen. Blessed are you, God, source of the world, who creates the fruit of the vine. Baha Rucha Tadonai Eloheinu Melech Olaham Shekhod Baralich Vodo. Blessed are you, light of life. Who created everything for your glory? Baharucha Tarona Eloheinu Melech Olaham Yotzer Hahadam. Blessed are you, God. Baharucha Tarona Eloheinu Melech Olaham Asher Yatzar Tadam Beselmo Beselam Demut Chavni Toho Vidkin Lomimenu Binyan Hadehad Baruch Atarona Yotzer Hahadam. So is Tassis Vitek Yatzion. Bikibutz baneha le tocha ha bisimcha ha ha Baruch atadonai misamech zihon bivaneha Dine will surely celebrate and exult in the coming together of her children. Bless you are God who brings joy to Zion through her children. Sameach tisamach rehim ahahuvihim Ki misecha yurtzecha began eden mikedhem Maruch atadonai misameach atan vehahachalaha Pleasure to these beloved companions as you did to your creation in the Garden of Eden so long ago. Blessed are you, God, who makes the hearts of this couple rejoice. Baha Rucha Tarona Eloheinu Melech Olaham Asher Barasa Son Vesimcha Chahatan Vechala Asher Barasa Son Vesimcha Chahatan Vechala Gila Rina Dihitza Vechedva Ava Veachva Shalom Vereut Mehe Radon Eloheinu Yeshama Biare Yehuda Uvchot sot Yerushalayim, kol sason ve kol simcha, kol chatan ve kol kala, kol mitzalot chatanim mechupatam, urem mishteni ginatam, maruch atadonai, misamea chatan im ha ha kala. Blessed are you, God, source of the universe who has created each of these two people, their delight and their happiness, their rejoicing and singing and dancing, and festivity, love and friendship, peace and pleasure. O oh God, may the voices of this celebration be heard in the streets of our cities and in the hills of our countryside. May the words of this couple go out with gladness from their wedding, wedding kupa, and may the music of their friends and guests around them. Blessed are you, God, who brings joy to the hearts of this couple. Amen and Lachayim. And you can please, Brianna, take a sip. Amen. Now, if you turn, just shoulder to shoulder. We're going to wrap you in your dad's talit as we share with you the oldest blessing from our tradition, more than 3,500 years old. Yivarechecha Adonai v'yishmarecha. May God bless you, and may God keep you. Ya'er Adonai panave lecha v'chunecha. May God's countenance, may God's light always shine upon you. May God reach out to you in tenderness and mercy and grant you lives and a marriage filled with happiness and health and joy and peace. And together we say, Amen. The last rite of this sacred act is that of breaking the glass. Glass is a reminder of the strength and fragility that exists in life. Well, there are many, many interpretations. I like to teach that, like the sands of glass, when we unite, we can accomplish amazing things. Use your heel, hold her hands, and wait till I move my hand. <laughs> One, two, three. Mazel tov!
have me And I have you That's enough to paint lonesome black and blue Yeah, I have you And you have me That puts a bow up in the sky Tells the rain to cease We've had up And we've had down We've had warm nights We've gone round and round What I know This much is true There ain't a color in the rainbow This shines like you So let's carve our names into this tree Then lay beneath the beauty of her leaves Will the birds and the bees sing to agree We're strong as a maple, twice as sweet We've had ups, and we've had downs We've had warm nights, we've gone round and round What I know, this much is true There ain't a tree with any leaf That roots me like
Hey everyone, I'm, I'm Jeremy and I'm Alex's best man. I want to start by thanking everyone and joining me in such a momentous occasion. From all my years of knowing Alex, I never thought this day would come in my wildest dreams. <laughs> and to clarify, I'm not referring to the wedding or the ceremony. This is the first time in 25 plus years of knowing Alex that I get to speak for a few minutes uninterrupted. I need, to take, I need to take advantage of it. <laughs> but, but I'm just kidding. 25 years is a long time. We've been friends and basically neighbors since elementary school. It speaks to what make, makes Alex such a great friend. His loyalty and his ability to be the centerpiece of any group he's in. Any day, any time when you, had, you need someone to talk to or hang out with, you call Alex. When you need advice, whether it's on a relationship or a career decision, or just the best place to get a slice of pizza in the Philly area, you call Alex. When you want to buy Sixers tickets, pawn them on on someone, and then sell them for a $10 profit in the next week, you call Alex. When you need something organized, done right, and planned out to the last detail, including the countless number of trips we've been on together, where we had an itinerary planned down to the very last minute, you call Alex. When you want to play a game, watch a game, invent a game, go to a game, or have an intense board game night, you call Alex. When you need, when you need a competent basketball player to join you in a two-versus-two two showdown in your driveway, you get your phone and you call anybody but Alex. <laughs> Trust me, based on experience, it's happened too many times. But in all seriousness, when you need someone to care about your priorities, your goals, your problems, more than even you do, you call Alex because I'll always be on your side to fight with you through the good and the bad. But when Bree came along in Alex's life and we started traveling together, I had concerns. Being a single guy, I know how hard it is to constantly tag along and be the third wheel. But Bree's done a great job so far. <laughs> no complaints as of now. She's fit right in and joined Alex on traveling across the world, including recent trips to the Southwest and Italy for a week last year. A few years ago, without knowing each other too well, she even agreed to spend a full day together in Denver when Alex had to go back to work to start his new job. We both agreed it was the best part of the trip. <laughs> Joking aside, you couldn't find a more caring, a more caring, thoughtful, patient, and loving person than Brie. The joy and happiness she brings to Alex is unmatched, and getting to know her through the years, I'm proud to call her one of my closest friends now, too. And back to Alex. I know the last year was a tough one with your mom passing. We all wish she could be here today. I know she had a huge part of your life and held a relationship with you that can never be replicated. But I also know she was a proud of the person you've become and the person you chose to spend the rest of your life with. So in her honor, let us all join together in a toast to a lifetime of love and happiness for Alex and Brie. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. My name is Allie, and I met Bree almost nine years ago, our freshman year of college, when I made it my mission to become her friend, because I thought she was part of the cool group of kids on the floor. As it turns out, those kids are pretty nerdy. When thinking about what I wanted to talk about, I thought it would be a great opportunity to share an embarrassing story about Brie from school. But as I thought deeper, I realized that many of those stories are far more incriminating for me. That's right. <laughs> so we'll skip that part of the scene. Throughout college, Brie and I became a package deal. We loved organizing things for the group, even if that meant hand making all the Halloween costumes making over a hundred dumplings for a random weeknight dinner, or making an epic Super Bowl party with themed drinks and desserts for both teams. Go Burns! We basically had a mutual agreement to go along with whatever shenanigans the other one came up with. So what really sticks with me when I think about those years is how thankful I am to have found and formed such a bond. Finding a friend that truly understands me better than I do myself, and knowing that you'll always be there for me on the bad days to make me laugh and tell me it's okay to cry. And most importantly, finding someone that spoke in as many weird voices and sounds as I did, 
That's more than a When we met Alex, I could tell that something was different about him based on how she spoke about him. I knew she didn't want to get too invested after just one date, but when she told me Alex was going away to Europe and offered to bring her back candy, I had a feeling he was probably the one. I learned early on that Alex is a planner. And I loved hearing about the weekend adventures and handcrafted food tours the two of them would go on and experience together. Even from afar, it was easy to tell how happy you guys made each other. And even with that distance, Bree and I still did our best to keep in touch and tell each other everything, just as we had before. Up until eight months before their engagement, when I came to visit and Alex showed me a ring. That I had to keep to myself. And that was when I realized this was truly going to be joint custody from now on. <laughs> Bree, I could not be luckier to have found a friend as amazing as you. Truly no words. And Alex, if I had to share her with somebody, I'm glad it's someone that makes her as happy as you. I, couldn't, I can't wait to see what this next adventure brings for you guys. And I love you guys so much. Cheers. <laughs> One thing that I want to say is you can't imagine how many thousands and thousands of times I've said over the last year, boy, I wish she was still around. One, because she was my companion and lover. Two, so she could see what the kids are accomplishing, what the grandkids are accomplishing. But today, I really wish she was here. She would be shining. She would absolutely be shining. And she'd be glowing with pride for both you, Alex, and Bree. Okay? I always loved my wife. I always took care of my wife. That's my advice to you two. Love each other and take care of each other. And your forever came today. So I want to welcome everybody, uh, friends and family alike. Uh, we're really happy to have you here celebrating with us. Uh, the Alex, Alex and Brianna coming together. Uh, I want to just reiterate something Jeff said. Um, we haven't known Alex all that long. It's been long enough, but not all that long. <laughs> I got to know Alex when we went to, um, we went to visit Randy and Jeff for the first time, and I met Randy and Jeff. But I, I, I remember the, the thing that stuck with me is that somehow, between Jeff and Randy, they managed to break off a little piece of each other and give us Alex. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys. Uh, we're, we're so happy to have you in the family, and uh, we're wishing you guys just many years of, of uh, what Chill and I have as well as your parents. Uh, you should only know from that and celebrate with us. Thank you. Nothing to do with me 
Ladies and gentlemen, have a big round of applause to the proud father of our bride sharing a special dance. Everything. 